tell you guys today it says on your schedule that you will be making a nutcracker. Now, we're only doing part one at home, but it's essential that you do part one at home so that when we do part two, you have plenty of time to do that in class. So you're doing the first step at home, which is just drawing the outline in pencil. This is your piece of paper. It's very long, right? I'm going to show you how to get started. You have step-by-step -step instructions on here as well. The first step, even though it says step one, draw a belt, we actually need to break up our paper into four equal sections. So if you have a ruler, get a ruler out. Otherwise, you can just use a straight edge of a book or magazine or something. And we're going to go ahead and we want to make sure that we get in the middle of the paper. And we're going to draw a line all the way down our paper. So from the top, you're going to do it all the way down. Keep going all the way down. And then mid through, you want to split it in half this way as well. Okay. And the idea is, is that you're splitting up your paper so that you can draw your nutcracker. Now, you want to do this part in very light, light color just so it's not seen at the end. So the first step says draw a belt. And it says to draw the belt right up here. So I'm going to draw the belt like so. Looks like a rectangle. And then I have a square in the middle for the buckle. And there we go. Step two, start the jacket above it. So it looks like there are lines that come up like this. Lines that come up like that. And then the tops of his jacket. Now, look at mine. Do you see how short mine was? I actually think I want it to be a little bit taller. Um, I'm going to go a little bit taller. Now, luckily I did it in pencil, so you can always erase and go back. I'm going to have it go a little bit taller just so I have a nice tall nutcracker to fill all the paper. Now it says add the head and hair. Okay, so this part gets a little bit bit steeper. Oh wait, and I'm sorry, I forgot to do the shoulder part. So it looks like there's a line, and you can use a ruler for any part of this. It looks like there's a line that goes straight across. And then there's little oval circles for the top of his jacket. Okay, and then above that it says add the head and hair. I'm going to do exactly how it shows on here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So now I'm going to take my time and I'm going to do the head. The head starts like this. So my nutcracker's head is a little narrow, but that's okay. And then the hair comes out almost like the side of a Christmas tree. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's art. Art is perfect in the way that you make it. Make those nice and deep. Okay. And then he has eyebrows. And he has his eyes. And he's got a pointy triangle looking nose. He's got a mustache. And then he's got these big teeth because he's a nutcracker. Okay. Now it says draw a hat on the head. His hat is like a crown. And he's got this on top. And then it's got little designs here. Like so. There we go. Okay. All right. Then it says continue the jacket as shown. Oh my goodness. Lots of steps. So I'm just going to copy it. it. Looks like he has a beard going down. And then he's got buttons on his jacket. And then underneath his belt, he's got the jacket that comes down here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. 
And on the jacket, he's got more detail and buttons. Go like this. All right, draw the arms with sleeves. Okay, so underneath here, it goes like that for the sleeves, and there's some detail there. And then his arms come out. And if you want to use a ruler for this, you absolutely can. And he's got kind of hands that look like that. And then go like this. And then he's got an arm that's just straight down. Like so. Okay, moving right along. Then it says add the legs with boots. So the legs. Here the legs are gonna be very long. They're gonna come all the way down. And use a ruler because I want to make it straight. I'm gonna make it go all the way down like that. The other leg. Oh, my legs are off. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And then he's got his socks above his boot, like so. And then his boot comes down. Now, you can get as more detailed as you want. Um, the nutcracker is then holding his cane. I'm going to draw the cane like this. And it's got a wheel at the end. Now, you guys don't have to draw that. You could have them holding a candy cane if you want. Um, and then in the background, it shows that he is in the background of what looks like mountaintop. So, let's hold it like that. So, because this is in pencil, now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to erase the extra pencil marks. So, um, when you're doing this, a good trick is to do it a little bit lightly. Don't do it too hard or anything. And this will take us all the way through. And then, you can go through and add as much detail as you want. What we'll be doing in class is using our coloring um, skills to actually color them. Everyone's nutcracker will come out a little bit different. Have fun with it. If you mess up, you can always redo it on the back. So have fun with your nutcrackers. I can't wait to see them. Don't take it too serious as far as, you know, oh, the lines aren't perfect. It's okay. Just do the best you can. We'll hang them up and make our classroom look very pretty with all of our nutcrackers. Okay, you guys. Talk to you soon. Can't wait to see your art project.